Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva, and we are going to diva our way into getting this sorted. Uh, last time we were planning on redoing some of the orbital collectors over at our North Pole so that we could be collecting the energetic photons. And we found we had a distinct lack of landfill. Imagine that. So what I'm going to do here, I think I would like to just delete this whole thing go bye bye this be bad this is bad bad things are happening here um and then kind of like make a tiny um assembly line for them i think that would be a lot better for us let's see what we can do here is just remove this make this there grab that away and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get two belts And we can have one going that way and then one going this way. Hello. 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 Okay. Let's try to remove the... Ah, there we go. Okay, I see. It has an internal belt. And then the rest of them, we can go from here to there and just have that be the in belt. And I'm going to go ahead and put some sorters here. So we can input here and then just copy them along. Uh, along this way because apparently we need <laughs> to my dis <laughs> to my absolute horror we need more stuff oh no uh, let's go ahead and you know what I'm just gonna take off this uh, inserter because I'd rather copy these please hold on hello there we go my goodness the helloing was not working there for a bit uh, I'm gonna get the other belts here and connect them along. And how does that work? Is that not building like on top of the ocean? Uh, game? Are you cheating on me thing? No, apparently it's on the single belts of, or bits of land that are there. Okay, in any case, it does seem to work. So we're not going to question it too much just as much as we want to to and let me go ahead and remove these belts and get this one where it's supposed to go all right so we're getting the steel coming out from there and connected to there and hopefully that will mean that we can get a lot more of this landfill created and how much of this wow 12 stone we might need to upgrade this built belt a tiny bit so let's go ahead and do that and er, I think we have to do it in sections at a time. Oh, did we already get it? We might have already gotten it. Excellent. Of course, this is not upgraded and uh, we probably, oh no, it's it seems to be content now. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't like when I try to steer with the right mouse button. It's like, no. I refuse. All right, what happened now? <sighs> oh, that's what happened. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so there you go. That's just like what happens in Factoria when you blueprint all the wrong, 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 wrong things. Oh, that's a funny thing there. That that ended up on the wrong side. And it did it again. Now that was actually the brain that did it, not actually the, uh, yeah, not the game. It was not the game's fault. I would never blame this on the game. It is purely, purely my fault. All right, faulted no longer. Now we can get stuff made and get these things into, let's get some into our inventory. There we go. And we'll take these up with us because we kind of have a, a long process ahead and um, I'm really excited about it actually. So what we have here is we have a mess. <laughs> this is technically described as a mess. At the moment, we are not actually, I don't think we are generating enough power. Yeah, we're not at full satisfaction of our, our uh, area here. So we're gonna have to probably change this around a little bit. What I wanna do, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to feed the graviton lenses to all of the uh all of these guys what i want to make sure of though is i want to have a 
belt that comes in. Let's see, where is the end part of this whole thing? We could end stuff over here, possibly. Just make a, uh, you know, a tower here. And this can be... Let's just make a big tower because every time we've made a small tower, we always need a big one eventually. So I'm going to have this requesting the lenses. And I'm going to move this wind mine. And I'm going to get this belt going there with number one on it. And then I'm going to just take this belt up. And I know there's a break. And the break is so that I don't have to mess around with this too much. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and just delete all these things right now. I want to get these things kind of better placed. All right. And this thing can just delete these squirrely bits here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here is our number one thingy majingy. Uh, I want to make sure that we can have some of these guys kind of evenly placed around. We're gonna start with just kind of at the cardinal points, making sure that we have the, um, the inputs. You can see them, the tiny little squares. Those need to be on a line. That is our first uh, task here. And I think we need to have a, a belt going in. That is an important feature. So if we have a belt going around, we need to have it going around like this. Now the question is, do we have this going in two different directions? I think we'll just have it go in one direction. We're in one direction and then we can square it off from there. That makes it a lot easier on us. Okay. Well, we're going to have a circle for now. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. All right. Now I'm going to put in the next set of receivers. Let's let's put in the these guys first, the sorters. That's kind of necessary. There we go. Oh, thank you, autosave. Now then, um, can put one there, potentially. Can the belt go underneath it? Nope. It's colliding with other objects. That works, though. Okay, that works. Okay, so we can have this one coming in a little bit straighter if we want to. I think this is fine, though. This actually does work. Uh, what we need to make sure, though, now is that we get a belt going into this side of things. However, having a sorter on top of a sorter <laughs> doesn't actually work. So we actually need to move that over by one. So we'll move it here, potentially, or we could even put it here. And that makes it a bit closer to the other things. Let's try and see if we can put it there. Okay, and see if we, we need to put in a belt here. That's important. Do we have a space for a belt? We do! Oh, nice. Okay, but that doesn't work either. That does not work. So, we might need to put in... I'm trying to use the same belt, but I'm wondering if that's not going to be very feasible. Or, potentially, we could just put in one more space, and I think that would work better. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Does this work for sorters? It does. Surely it does. Hooray. Okay, so let's see how we can get these guys to go on here. This one can go there. Okay. Seems far away. Can we put it a little bit closer to that one? No? Yes? No? Let's see, the end goes right before there. Yeah, for some reason it just does not want to go there, but it'll go right there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right. I think it's probably the max radius of the dish, or max diameter, depending on your proclivities. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that works does feel like we're not getting them very close together. I'm going to go ahead and delete this part of the belt. 
and just see where we can put this next one. Okay, that one will go there. This one can go there. But can we... Question is belts. Let's just do one at a time. Just make sure that we can get them working. Okay, they are working. Um, all right. That's these. And so far they've all been set to power generation. I think what I might do is leave the inner ones at power generation and have the other belt going around the outside to get these guys for the photon generation. And I'm going to hook them up even if we need to switch some of them back to regular power generation uh, because I think that will work pretty well for us. Let's see, where is that landfill? I'm looking for it right now. You know what? I'm just going to use this. It's easier. It's easier to find the button on here. Let's see. Let's get like here. That should be enough. Doesn't matter if we're sloppy. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. Uh, we'll go and pick up some more landfill in a bit. There's a reason I did that first. <laughs> so that we could keep on generating. Okay. And take this. Let's see. Nice. Another one there and there. They're aligning quite weirdly. Like this seems like way too big of a space, but I don't know. It's like, huh? Why? Because this one is at the same see this one is over yeah they're at the same uh latitude it's really weird oh well well you know what we're just gonna go with the, what the game does and it'll be fine we'll just live with it all right let's get this one going on a sneak on in here to get the stuff where we want it to go But it doesn't actually bother me. It's kind of uh, more of like, I want to fit more in. That's what bothers me is like, I want to fit more in. Why? Why is it not letting me fit them? Okay, here is our landfill. Whoa, we may need a lot more stone. Because I feel like, yeah, we're not having too much in here. Um, Should we improve that a tiny bit? Probably. Probably, probably. Uh, let's get this stone belt carried on and if we need more we can also just open up another mine that's fine too let's tab this and put in proper inserters or sorters depending on your proclivities lots of proclivities happening today i tell you it's a thing That's doubling that. Need power. Power is not available for this location. Please call your local power company. Um, okay, let's get another machine. Let's see if I can get this to fit in somewhere here. There we go, that's better. Just very casually let that thing sidle up to there. All right. That's working and I think we can divert this one as well. Because feels like we're not really doing much on the other side. It's kind of at a standstill, just kinda. All right, this is gonna get going. It's gonna at least give us a little bit more throughput on there. But in the meantime, we did grab some uh, landfill. We got 800 landfill, so that's quite a lot for our purposes here. So we should be able to find the north. I have a very sneaking suspicion we are going toward the south. <laughs> Just make sure, yeah. We gotta go for the red pole. I don't know how I got turned around there. That was quite weird. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're back where we started and getting our dishes out where we want them to be. Okay, so now 
Let's do our landfilling again. Just get a little bit more of this space here. And hopefully we can get these guys a couple more. Maybe just that one. Let's see if we can... I think we tried that, didn't we? We tried, we tried, but it doesn't quite work out. Um, I guess it works out too. Like if we had them at the cardinal points, then we would have a regular rotation of them. But um, yeah, we can't actually do that because of the sorters. However, it's fine. Nobody's going to care. We're not being judged on things. I don't know why they would judge on that though. Like sneaky people. I have no idea. Anyway, this works. That's what we care about is that it works. Um, now then, we can, we need to put in a belt somewhere. <gasps> wow, that works. Hello. That works quite well, actually. Works quite well. And these guys are going to come out also. That is another thing that happens here. Go up and down. These guys can just go over that. And I'm going to find out where we need to take this. Here is our... Oh, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. I messed up that whole thing. I thought that this was the other thing. All right, so what I want to do here is do a little junction like this, and then these guys can go the other way. Because these are going to be the out belt. So I'm going to go ahead and set a couple of these going. Let's set this to photon generation, and you can be photon generation as well. I kind of wish there was like a different animation or something for photon generation instead of, uh, yeah, instead of not, because it would be a lot more helpful, I think. Um, all right, so this is our inbelt for the um, lenses, which we didn't set up yet. I meant to do that earlier, but let us select them now and have, I don't know, 500 come in here, local demand, sure. Let's do that. And we're already getting some, so that's fine. Now then, we need to get sneak in a belt from here. And that's what I thought I was doing before. Oh, this is just fine. It is literally fine. Okay. So this one is going to go here for now. Oopsies that down on the ground level. There we go. Okay, this one probably should go to the right. All right, nice. So now all of these can be set for photon generation if we want them to be. And I guess the next step would be to add even more dishes on the outside of this as well. So then we have, um, let's see, if we can add a little bit more landfill. I don't know how much we actually have at this point, um, but we need a tiny bit more. Whoa, what well, this is fun. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, goodness. Okay, I see now. I see how this is going. All right, so let's see. What we can do is just set this as close as we can here and as close to that one as we can. Let's see if this is okay. Let's see, we could move this. We, we definitely need to move this. This is most bizarre. Let's see, what can I do over here? Can I move this? I could do that. Can I get this guy around there? Maybe. Oh, 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 has to be the right way. Aha, okay, well that works. Hey, hey, that works. Happy days are here again. Looks a bit squirrely, but it's, hey, it's working, right? It's working. 
So let's see, those go right before this line. And all of a sudden we find we can fit a cabillion on here. Now I'm gonna leave this at not being a cabillion for a while. Um, because, oh wait, are they even, <laughs> I don't think they're sharing with anybody. <laughs> I think they're just, they're just doing stuff. Cause I forgot to put a power pole. Yeah, right there is good. Yep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> now it's a little bit better. Now we're generating some wattage here. Okay, so yeah, we have a few connected there, but what I think I can do is I'm just going to set this up for photon generation and they can generate... Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Nice. And these can go onto this thingy, onto this belt because they are outputting to the photon belt. So that's the photon belt. Soon it's going to be a lot easier to tell because the uh, lenses will be on a green belt which is coming soon so let's see these probably we need to have an input oh dear this is going to be the issue hello yep okay so these may actually have to be changed probably definitely will have to be changed um yeah all right well, let's change it Try to get these guys and maybe put them one forward. I think if I put them one forward, they are going to be fixed. It's the whole situation will be fixed. So it's kind of wasting a tile, but if we need it, we need it, right? So we're going to put these one over that line. Like that. Is that the same line? No, we need to move it one further forward. Oh, the KOS doesn't like doing this. But it's okay. If it's the only way we can get it to go, it's gotta be fine, right? Okay. Let's get this going. Colliding with objects. We don't want to collide, I promise. We're just trying to get these things organized. That fits nicely. All right, so now this one, we need to have a belt going in. Oh, it doesn't like that one either. Sneaky. Go to something. Does it like this one? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, this game sometimes. The fun and joy of these thingy majingies. All right, so we're going to have to have it on this, but on a square. Is that on a square? No, not really. It's on a partial square. These things are feeling very much like problem children. Yep, it does not like this at all. Let's see what we can do to mitigate this. Do we need to put it further forward? It's interesting because I haven't actually gotten this far in my uh, test game. Uh, where I had to have many rows of these things. So that's kind of like why I'm kind of experimenting, trying this stuff out and trying to figure out if it's the thing that I want to do. Okay, well, that's a thing to do, I guess. No, I tried to reverse it thinking that somehow you could, I don't know, change the way things are going. I guess you could potentially put it on those lines but that would be kind of eh. no I don't want to do that I want this to work I want this to work game I would really love it to work see if this is putting it like in the middle of the square that's on the side of the square for some reason it seems to default default to the squares that are on not this new grid, but the old grid over here. So let's see if this works for us. I think it should. Okay. All right. Hey, hey. That works. Hey, girlfriend. You working for me? Mm. Yes. Okay. So let's see. This, we're going to have a splitter if we can fit it. Let's get one down here. Hello, Emma. Emma is very meowy right now. 
How you doing, my pet? Yes, my pet meows at me whenever I, I ask her very serious questions. You doing good? Oh, yes, we're doing very good. I hope you heard that. Oh my goodness, yes, we jumped right in front of the keyboard. We are now wanting to cuddle in my arms. Cat says it's, <laughs> it's time for a cat patting break. So, if you have a pet of any kind, it is now time to pat your pet. Uh, just saying. Yes. Uh-huh. She's now kneading my, uh, my sleeve, which is just fine because we approve of kneading. Yes. All right. Now we can connect these to the output belt here. Yes, my good pet. Okay. Okay. Yes. Lots of kneading going on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do these sorters right now. Don't don't mind my uh, left hand. We are being currently patted by the cat. And it is very fuzzy and lovely. I love this cat. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this one where it is, even if it's out of alignment slightly. Nobody's going to notice or care. Trust me on this. And we're going to connect these guys. And our power, let's see, we're using... Well, we have 1.39 gigawatts and we have been using, I don't know how many. Oh, we've been, we were at 800, I think, before we started stuff. But let's see, with the Dyson bits and pieces, that's going to double our output for most things. Now, did we... Okay, there is our circle of stuff, of lenses. Actually, I meant to like stop that circle, but it's fine if it's there, it doesn't hurt anything. So that's just fine. Good, excellent. So now these are getting 25 megawatts pulled down from the universe. And we are <laughs> well, well over satisfaction now. So at this point, what we can do is change some of them to photon generation. And it looks like I copied some for photon generation when uh, I didn't really mean to do that. So let's see, I think we can leave, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, um, and that's it. So we'll add six and then seven. And do we need more? Let's see, what is our power at right now? Yep, yeah, we can switch that one over. Let's have all of the second row being photon generation. I don't know if we need it. And of course, each of these, as we switch more on, uh, they get less and less, but that's gonna be made up for when we have, oh, where's my WASD? Thank you, cat. Um, cat helps me play with stuff all the time. It's so good. Uh, all right, so what do we got now? All right, we are at about 60% uh, or something. So that works. Hello, my cat. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. She just looks at you and she's just like, you can tell she means it. She means to look so cute. Yes, you do, my tiny fuzzy pet. Oh my good girl. Uh, all right, one of the things that I do want to do is now that we have a lot of production of this stuff, I want to get some of the fuel rods in my system because we have enough here and I feel like it's time to switch over. So let's pick up like, yeah, 80, 80 seems good. Sure. 79 is fine because they are in stacks of 20. I'm okay. Cat, I really need to see the keyboard. Excuse me. Can you sit down so I can see? Excuse me. Pardon, pardon me. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's so cute. Did I mention she's cute? She's a little bit cute. She's like really cute, like super cute, like Emma cuteness land. Cute. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So we're going to use this new fuel and I'm kind of excited about it because it does have a massive raise charge rate. I think it's 500%. Yeah. Plus 500%. So that should help us quite a lot in what we're doing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop off. Wow. Now we're getting some photons. Hello. All right, I'm going to, can I insert lenses directly? I think I can, but it's, yeah, it's going to be messy. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to put them in the tower and call that good. So local supply, shove some in here. Hello. Oh, whoops. There we go. Yeah. 500 is just fine. Is that all the lenses I have? Yes, it is. Okay. So local demand. And if we want to, we could also put some 
dishes on the South Pole. I think we have some there, but we don't have the lenses there. And at the moment, I don't think we actually need it, considering how many we are devoting to the photon um, encapturement. Wait, is that a word? I like it, though. Whatever it is, even if it's not a word, I like it. So, wait, we have zero spheres? Uh, no, uh, satellite dishes. Hello? What are we missing here? We're missing blue engines. All right, so that's a thing that we did not attend to apparently last time. I want to import some blue engines from the world. I wonder why these are not, f oh, they're not getting green motors. We don't have green motors? Hello? Local demand, remote demand. Oh, things may be having trouble in Motorland. Oh dear. Okay, we need to fix that. We need to check on that and fix it and find out what's wrong with that. In the meantime, we have the energy thing working. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to do is find any hydrogen things that we've got, like this uh, setup. And instead of having uh, this many burners, what I want to do is have a couple of burners, maybe, maybe three, and then put the rest in a tower to be picked up for, um, well, you know, for stuff. So let's see, hydrogen. I'm going to go ahead and, s and shift it to this tower. So this thing, let's take a, we need another splitter because it's priority splitting toward these towers where I need it to be. But then we need another priority split before it goes into these guys. Hello, my purring. Oh my god, there's so much purring going on. Cat is the purriest purring you ever heard. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so we're going to prioritize this. So first prioritize to the towers. Now it's going to go toward um, the other tower here. Which is already getting some of this, I think. Is this the tower? Yes, this is the tower. So I'm going to go ahead and get this and maybe that'll actually contribute to the supply somewhat. That would be nice. Let's go up and down. All right, cool. All right, so let's see some of this coming in. Do we have any? Hello? Oh, wow. These are <laughs> the graphite is just backing up here at the moment. Um, yeah, not a lot is getting through on things. I feel like this is like a, such a slow motion system waiting for this to work, but I think it will work. So anyway, that's going to fill up that tower uh, with stuff, which is great. Do we have any other pressing hydrogen things? And another thing we can do is actually shut off all of these guys. Let's see how much we have. 1.41 gigawatts in our sphere. Oh, look at this. Fabulous. We're almost done. We're almost done with this section. I think we, we might need to start getting more rockets because I think we're actually done. Let's see. Structure progress. Yeah, we have all of the rockets done. Wow. Um. Wow. I don't know what else to do with this. I think maybe we just need to add a uh, decorative kind of banding across the top. That would be okay. Oh, that was not a great start for decorativeness. Hello. <laughs> what I was thinking on this is to add like, I don't know, double length of these. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not going to be regular if we do that. Actually. Now someone was asking me, isn't it better to have more nodes? And I said, well, it just depends what better means really. Um, because if you have more nodes, it's going to be much more expensive to build your sphere. So, oh, whoopsies, why am I not doing this correctly? You know what I might just do? I might just extend. No, I kind of want to have a band across the top. Let's do a band across the top. Okay. And then we're going to go like the E. There we go. And then the T. Okay. Let's just not run the game in the background. Okay, and then the T is a one long box. Don't know if that's going to fly, but we'll we'll try it. Let's see. Let's try to fill this in. Oh, yes. Yes, it does work very nicely. 
uh, because we can we can keep on going here and making stuff and that's kind of what we want to do but the pieces have to be big enough to not collapse under the weight of itself okay let's see if all those fit in yes they do okay and that's going to be even easier to read which is fabulous let's see can i delete this one maybe and maybe make this a big square oh no that's too big too big i'm gonna have to make it a tiny bit smaller and this one can be let's go here all right we're gonna have advertising all over the place yes Convert all the lonely space creatures and have them come to Belt Diva Land. Oh, yes. Uh, all right, let's take this one there. And L, this is going to be fun. Wish I could just like put these things on straight. There we go. Let's get this T going on because I think that's going to be a bit too funky if we leave it too big. There we go. And then the next one we'll just take here. And then here. Maybe we can do a big one there. Yes. Oopsies. Let's just fill these in. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves or else we may find ourselves without a place to fit things in well enough. All right. We are getting to Belt Diva Land indeed. Oh, this is so great. Oh, I forgot to put a tiny uh, little, I don't know, uh, edge on this one. Belt Diva. Oh, this is so great. This is so good for divaness. Yay. Take this one up here and then this one down here and then fill them all in. Call it good. I wonder how much, I wonder how much energy that's going to provide. A whole bunch, I bet. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that will get our rocket launchers going again and, and start uh, launching uh, some more of those nodes into space. Now, is there other hydrogen? Where? Hmm. We had a hydrogen plant over here. We were burning stuff. Did we take it out? I think we took it out in favor of the fractionators, which is great. Um, Is there any other hydrogen that we're burning? I don't think so. Because we were making these organic crystals, but then we decided to not. And I think we're kind of good over here. I think we should run over to Rustabon 1 and figure out what's going on over there because of lack of Dyson dishes. That's rough times. Uh, how much? What I wonder is how much of the lenses are we making? Are we making enough to share with them? Do we care about sharing? Because maybe we can just use the real estate for them. It looks like we're having several. So it's backed up on the side of green science. So that's just fine. Green science, on the other hand, is unhappy because of lack of quantum chips. Because why? Hello? There are no processors either. The mystery deepens. Okay, so we're not getting processors and we're not getting uh, motors. What's going on? I wonder what is going on here. I'm actually kind of confused. Like, why would those things stop? Look at all of those sails going into nodes. This is crazy good. Oh my god, Belt Divaness is really alive and well. Holy fuzzy cats. This is crazy good. Look at that. Aha, oh, that's so great. Belt Diva Land! Woo! Oh, this is exciting! Oh my gosh, that's thrilling. So in case, um, if you forgot, we do have sales being launched from Rastaban 1. Um, I don't know uh, if anybody remembers that, because it's been a while since we've been here. But yeah, we do have them here. So let's see, this was getting what? This was considering importing stuff, which... It never did, because I never set the output, apparently. Oh, geez. Okay. That's fun. Um, what What's going on with power here? Let's see. Power? Cat, please, please, please. I don't think you would enjoy coffee. No, no. Nai, nai. You're my special precious kitten. Love this little kitten. Um, 
I think, let's see what's, what's going on here. We have these two. I think I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these solar thingy thingies and just put another dish in. Oh, wow, it fit. Okay, cool. Can I replace these? I can. Sorta. There we go. That's fine. All right, so we put in one. Okay, just one second, cat. And she just like, um, she has sort of learned how to get into her little woolen bed. Uh, but oh, well then, I see we have a slight issue here. Uh, where is this stuff going? Oh boy, boy oh boy land. Oof, this is, this is not good times land. Look at this. So this means, wow, they're all completely done, aren't they? This section and this, there is no more silicon. Is there any more on the whole planet? Let's look. Ooh, there's a tiny bit of iron. Huh. I think, jeez. Wow. So there's a little bit of iron, but there's no silicon here at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, hmm, what do we do here? This is, this is all set up for those things. And what I'm thinking is that I might just import the ore here because we already have all of the smelters and stuff set up. So I think that's what we're going to have to do is just get the ore set up. All right, so we're going to stop this here. Just make a space for a tower. Okay. And this is going to import silicon ore. And we'll import lots of it. In fact, we'll do like 9,000. How about, well, maybe 85. Hundred. Okay, local demand. Oh, no, remote demand. And then the rest of the 1500, that's going to be for local stuff getting through there, in and out. Okay, um, wow. Huh, I can't believe that we've kind of completely run out. That's wow. That's just wow. Yeah. The wow is real. That was funny. I didn't even realize it was a raised belt. <laughs> and I'm just like, huh, okay, it's kind of going down and up. It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. Anyway, um, we're going to get a local demand on this one. And do we have... Do we have... Warpers nearby? No. All right, we can import warpers as well. Because I sense that we might need some. Let's put all 20 ships in here, or 10 ships, I guess. And we're going to demand, well, we're going to request, anyway, some of these warpers. And I think this is the part of the game where we just, like, start spamming mining like crazy. Where is... I can never find this icon. There it is. I gotta remember where that is. I, I sort of halfway know, but then I sort of don't. So we're going to request a thousand warpers. Remote demand. And we're just going to get that from the other planet. Let's get a power pole to this station. Now, we seem to be okay on iron for now. So that's good. But yeah, this is a sad state of affairs, man. This is not happy in land of the KOS. Jeez. So this means we really need to find some silicon somewhere. And I kind of know what we want to do here. And we've been kind of preparing for it for a long time now, which is cool. But um, yeah, all of the mech energy and stuff like that, we got to go to another star system. Wow, this is just completely, completely full. Okay, so this is getting some to go. Where is this going? This is making solar panels, I think. Yeah, it's just making solar panels. So it's not really doing that much there. What is this? This is iron ore. Hmm. 
can leave that one as it is, I guess. I feel like it's untapped treasures. Okay, take this off, this off, that, and that. Okay, that's just fine. And then we have random stuff in here. I'll just take it out and just delete that box. Wow, and we have all this titanium in here. I think... I think what I'm going to do is just take these off and then put a belt going in here and just output it to the belt. So we drain this stuff. And that way we'll have that open for later. Man, this is this is a bit of an emergency, isn't it? Silicon emergency. Well then. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and delete these power plants because at the moment we're not going to need them. And I think we might even go to making the these artificial suns instead. I'm going to go ahead and even and clear and reset that. Oh boy. Okay, that was uh, not not great. I should have just put it as local supply. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put them as a supply. Should I make a temporary tower for that? I feel like I should make just a temporary tower to nowhere so that I know that it's definitely, this is not a permanent structure. We don't care about what goes on here. We just want to get rid of this stuff. So let's see, because it had several hundred in there. Let's go and put these in. Okay, so that will be a supply. And I am aware that I did take some from my inventory. That was very much intended. Okay, now we have these things going on. That's good, that's good. Wow, we don't have any uh, ray receivers here. That's interesting. It's all solar panels. Well, I guess we don't need that much at the moment, but I think it's because we have not enough, uh, not enough silicon to power most of our area here. We definitely need to go get exploring, but we do have the very sneaky technology of going to our star map. That is the universe exploration four, and we can just click on these systems like this one, which has 2.5 luminosity. This is Beta Leonis, where it's got iron, copper, silicon, titanium, stone, coal, fire, ice, kimberlite, fractal, silicon, sulfuric acid, and water. And it's right next to a place that's a black hole, which has unipolar magnets. And we have a neutron star also that has unipolar magnets. Unipolar magnets are really, really useful for certain things. Um, and I think, let's see, what are they useful for? Let me see if I can remember here. I think they're useful for the... This, yes. Pink barbells, dumbbells, pink something bells. So that might be a really nice tech to use these on. It simplifies them immensely. No longer need the green motors to make them. You just need copper and unipolar magnets. Now, one thing I do want to check on here is the silicon. Ah, oh, yeah, this is rough times here. But yeah, here is what? This is iron. Oh, okay. So iron is also lacking and that needs to go here to these different, um, yeah, these different places. I think what we need to do, oh, and then silicon is also lacking over here. This is not good. No, no good, no good. No good this is, no, no. I think what I'm gonna do is also um, get this one. Also take silicon out and then take it over there. Uh, because just to remind ourselves that this other silicon mine is ending. And we really need more. I'm going to be sad to see this go because this was like a nice little bridgey thing and all the things. So it is still, let's see, we have a couple still working here. But otherwise, not so much. Those guys are not working. There we go. And oh, that took... Just took half the thing away. That's not good. All right. 
Um, but yeah, we need, we have other issues now. We have that, that iron that is definitely not full coming in. This should be a full belt. So I think what we're going to do with in the next episode, we're going to start with get, gathering some iron. We saw that on this planet, we have some. So that's a really good starting place for getting some more and making sure that this whole array is actually making stuff. Now we do have... Yeah, see, very few of these motors are getting made, it seems like it. And are these guys making the blue motors? Let's see, here we've got blue motors. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, what are they missing? They're missing green motors. Are they just not fast enough to catch the ones that are coming down the line, or they're just not catching them at all? Hello? Are these green motors? No, those are... Bits of carbon nanotubes. Huh. Green motors are going this way. This one. Okay, so we're supposed to get the green motors from the middle line. Let's follow this back and find out. Oh, that's why we have a filter on it. Yep. Okay, so we now figured out our problem. We need a ton more iron and we need to get this underway. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop before we get too excited about stuff. And let's take one more look at our Dyson Sphere. It looks like we don't have many of uh, these things in orbit. So we might be able to start some brand new uh, launchers getting launched so that we can fill this up more quickly. Because goodness knows we have tons and tons of sails just ready to be uh, put into the sphere. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.